You can drastically enhance your experience with Windows with this one small setting adjustment, allowing you to take control of applications on your PC and have them fully close out if they happen to crash or you want them just to close easily. In this video, I'll be showing you as quickly as possible how to set up right click to end task. You can get Windows activated from as little as $16 using WhoKeys. Use the links in the description down below, choose from Windows 10, Windows 11 or Office. Use code PAN20 at checkout for an additional 25% off your order and to help support the channel. Pay via a secure payment method, including PayPal. Once purchased, your key will be available immediately. Head over to activate Windows, paste the key, will then have access to all Windows features and no more watermark. The Windows 10 keys will also allow you to upgrade to Windows 11. Use the links in the description down below and a massive thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. Right click to end task is just one of those necessary Windows optimizations that I do on practically all systems now, as it really takes away the annoyance of programs crashing and becoming unresponsive. This doesn't require any applications or third party tools, all we need to do is jump into the Windows settings. So what this functionality will allow you to do is once it's set up, if you navigate down to any program that's currently open and is visible on the taskbar, instead of just being able to right click and close window, for this example I'm using Discord, if I close window, go back to my task icon tray, you can see that Discord is still running in the background, it hasn't actually closed anything. Some applications may close completely fine when you do that, or some applications could have other instances open that will still run in the background even when you close out of the main application. And on some PCs, like this one here, you get this really irritating situation where I've right clicked to close this window for Discord, but it's still running in the background. And if I go to access Discord again, nothing happens when I click on the logo. Instead, with right click to end task, navigate to the application you want to close out of, right click, then select end task. That means that the application you've just selected is completely closed out. And if I navigate down to the task bar once again, I can open up Discord as I typically would be able to immediately. This makes it super useful to have more control over your system and the programs that are running in the background and be able to quickly and easily fully close out of applications you no longer need to use and you can come back to those later. To enable this on your system, there are two different methods to be able to do this. The first and easiest method instead of Windows 11 is to take yourself to the Windows button, select the settings icon, on the left hand side, we're then going to search for end space task. Go to enable end task in taskbar. This will then bring you into the system for developers section. Head over to end task and select this to on. If you don't have the developer options and this setting doesn't come up when you search for it, you may need to update Windows to the latest version to get this functionality. This may also be missing in some different Windows versions, but if you can enable it with inside of here, once you switch this on, the functionality should then immediately appear when you right click on any task in the task bar. Alternatively, if you don't find that setting, another way you can enable this using method two is to navigate down to the Windows button, then search for reg edit and press enter. Now we're only going to be changing one value with inside of here and at any time if you want to turn this functionality back off to the stock setting, you can jump back inside of here, change one number and it will go back to being switched off as it typically would. To enable this via the Windows registry editor if the first method didn't work, take yourself over to H key current user, scroll down to software, scroll down to where you'll find Microsoft. Inside of Microsoft, scroll down once again towards W and go inside of Windows. Go down to current version, scroll down ever so slightly until you find Explorer, then go into the advanced folder, then go to taskbar developer settings. Once you select this folder, on the right hand side you'll see the registry key titled taskbar end task. Double click on this. To enable the functionality, the hexadecimal value needs to be set to 1. To disable the functionality, it needs to be set to 0, which is the default setting. If you wanted to enable it, set it to 1, select OK, exit out. Go down to your taskbar and attempt to close out of any of these applications using the new end task button. If this doesn't appear immediately after changing that Windows registry edit, all you need to do is restart your PC, jump back in and you should then have that functionality unlocked for your system. Again, if either of those methods haven't worked and you're sure that you've enabled them correctly or the settings are missing, I would recommend fully updating Windows to the latest version and trying this again. It's just a super useful setting that I would recommend enabling on practically all systems. It gives you more control over your PC and it makes ending tasks like it used to be in older versions of Windows where you can simply close out of an application when you actually want to close out of it. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, check out the playlist section in the description down below or if you're not entirely sure where to go next check out one of the two videos on screen i've been penjano and i'll see you in the next one